Hello grade 7 students, welcome to our video lesson on algebraic expressions. This is Ma'am Clarissa C. Diaz, your mathematics teacher. Bago tayo mag-umpisa, alamin muna natin kung ano-ano ang mga dapat ninyong matutunan sa video lesson natin na ito. Sabayan nyo ako magbasa ng ating mga objectives. Our objective number one, Illustrate and differentiate related terms in algebra. Number two, define polynomial. Number three, classify polynomials according to the number of terms. Number four, identify the degree of polynomial. And number five, evaluate algebraic expressions for given values of the variable. Okay, thank you very much. Grade 7 students in reading with me our objectives for today. Umpisahan natin ang ating lesson sa mga terms na related sa ating lesson ngayon. So let's start with the question, what is algebra? Narinig niyo na ba ang salitang algebra? Ano kaya ang algebra? So algebra is a branch of mathematics which generalizes the facts of arithmetic in which letters representing numbers are combined according to the rules of arithmetic. Ngayon, familiar pa kayo sa word na numerical expression? I will show you what is numerical expression. So, halimbawa nito ay ang sumusunod. 12 plus 6. 3 times 12. 6 times 3 plus 12. 15 minus 4 times 6. So, alam niyo na kung ano ang mga numerical expressions. Sige nga, kayo naman ang magbigay ng mga examples ng numerical expression. Okay, very good. Tingnan naman ninyo ngayon ang halimbawang ito. There are missing terms. What do you think are the missing numbers na kapag i-add ninyo, ang sagot ay 5? Sige nga, mag-isip kayo. Samantalang wala pa kayong mga numerong yon. lagyan muna natin ng letters na x plus y equals 5. We will change those letters kapag nakapagbigay na kayo. Ayan, so ito na yung possible values na ipapalit natin kay x plus y equals 5. Okay, so ito na, no? Meron tayong 5 plus 0 equals 5. 4 plus 1 equals 5. 3 plus 2 equals 5. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 1 plus 4 equals 5. 0 plus 5 equals 5. Negative 1 plus 6 equals 5. Negative 2 plus 7 equals 5. Negative, negative 3 plus 8 equals 5. Negative 4 plus 9 equals 5. Negative 5 plus 10 equals 5. And negative 6 plus 11 equals 5. So, ang dami, di ba? Yung x at y ay siyang tinatawag na variables. So, what is variable? So, in the expression 12 plus x, the letter X is a variable. So, a variable is a letter or symbol that represents an unknown value. So, ayan, may mga examples tayo. No? Kikita ninyo dyan, X, Y, A, okay, and so on. No? So, when variables are used with other numbers, parentheses, or operations, they create an algebraic expression. Example, ang letter A, i-add natin kay 2. So, ang A plus 2 ay isa ng algebraic expression. Another, si letter A with parenthesis, kasama si B with parenthesis, yan ay isa ring algebraic expression. How do you read the expression? So, it reads as A times B. So, ang panghuli, ang 3m plus 6n minus 6. 
So, ito rin ay isang algebraic expression. Dahil isinama natin ang number sa variables or sa letters plus sign na operation operators natin. Ang 6 kasama rin ng n at saka minus 6. Yan na ngayon ay isa ng algebraic expression. Since you have seen in the algebraic expression letters and numbers, ano ang tawag sa kanila? A number multiplied by the variable in an algebraic expression ay tinatawag na numerical coefficient. At ang variable factor, including its exponent, ay tinatawag na literal coefficient. Example, in the algebraic expression, 6m squared plus 5, ang numerical coefficient ay 6 at ang literal coefficient naman ay ang m squared. Okay. Yung sunod na example, 8r plus 7m plus 4. Ano ang numerical coefficient? Okay. So, meron tayong dalawa. 8 at saka 7. Ang literal coefficient ay ang r at saka ang m. Okay, at yung pangatlong example, 14b minus 8. Ang numerical coefficient ay 14 at ang literal coefficient ay b. Okay, so, naintindihan nyo ba kung ano yung ating numerical coefficient at ang literal coefficient? Kung may numerical at literal coefficients ang algebraic expression, meron din itong tinatawag na terms. So, what is a term? Any algebraic expression separated from another algebraic expression by a plus or a minus sign is called term. Example, in an algebraic expression a plus 2, a is a term, and 2 is another term. So, there are two terms in the algebraic expression. In the algebraic expression 3m plus 6m minus 6, the terms are 3m, 6m, and negative 6. So, there are three terms. Okay, so, naintindan niyo na ba kung ano yung mga terms na tinatawag natin sa algebraic expression? Hopefully, naitindihan niyo. Meron din tinatawag na constant sa algebraic expression. So, what are constants? A constant is a number that cannot change its value or the term without a variable or simply a constant. Take a look at this example. In the expression 5x plus 7y minus 2, the constant is negative 2. And in the expression 3m plus 6m plus 6, the constant is 6. Okay, so naintindihan na ba ako nung constant? Okay, tingnan ko ngayon kung mayroon kayong naintindihan sa ating mga terms na binigay sa inyo. No? Okay, so we will have our activity. So using our activity sheet 1. Okay, so identify the terms, coefficients, and constants. Okay, so you have here in the table, you have the, the column of algebraic expressions. You identify the terms and write that under the column of terms. Then you identify the coefficient. Yun yung ating uh, numerical coefficient. Okay, so yan ay ilalagay nyo rin sa column ng ating coefficient. Yung variables, those are letters and symbols. So, ilalagay nyo rin sa column ng variables. And then, constant, of course, yung number na hindi nag-change or yung term na hindi nag-change ang value. Okay, so are you ready to start? Okay, I will give you 5 minutes. Is it enough? Okay. Okay, this time, check it out if your answers are correct. Okay, so try to see the correct answer for the terms, coefficients, 
variables and constants. Okay, so hopefully you got everything correct. Okay, congratulations. I hope you've learned something. Okay, very good. This time, punta naman tayo sa tinatawag na positive integer exponent. Example, in an expression a raised to n, na kung saan ang a is not equal to 0 and n is a positive integer. So example, a raised to n, a is the base and n is the exponent. So in the 2 times 2 times 2 can be written as 2 raised to the 4th or 2 to the 4th. 2 is the base and 4 is the exponent. The same with the x times x times x can be written as x cubed. Base is x and the exponent is 3. Okay, this time, let's see how you're going to read terms with exponents, okay? So, the following are read as follows, okay? So, we can see there 4 uh, to the second power or what we call 4 squared, okay? So, 2 to the third power or 2 cubed. Then you have the letter x to the fourth power or x to the fourth. Okay, so a term which has an exponent of 1 can be omitted. Example, 2y to the first power is written as 2y only. x to the first power, y to the first power is written as xy. Or, Negative a x raised to the first power is written as negative 8x. So no need to write the 1 as exponent. Since alam na ninyo basahin ang algebraic expressions, this time, i-translate naman natin ang word phrases into variable expressions. Example, Three more than a number is the same or is translated as x plus 3. Another example, the quotient of a number and 8 is the same as y divided by 8. Another, 6 times a number is equal to or the same as 6 times n or 6n. Another, 15 less than a number is translated as z minus 15. And the last example, the quotient of 30 in a number plus 10 is translated as 30 divided by x plus 10. Ito yung mga keywords na dapat ninyong tandaan kapag nagtatranslate kayo ng word phrases into algebraic expression. Kapag addition, ito yung mga keywords. Add, plus, sum, total, increased by, more than. So kapag nakita ninyo yan sa word phrase, ibig sabihin ay addition. So plus sign ang gamitin. Kapag naman, subtraction, ito naman yung mga keywords. Minus, difference, subtract, less than, decreased by, less. So, yan ang tatak. Pag nakita ninyo yan, tanda lang ninyo, nagagamit kayo ng minus sign. Ang keywords naman sa multiplication ay product times multiply. So, yan ang tandaan ninyo na ang pag-translate ay multiplication. Sa so, division naman, ang inyong keywords ay quotient and divide. So, yan lang ang uliway sa inyong pakatandaan kapag nag-translate kayo ng word phrases into algebraic expressions. 
This time, titingnan natin kung alam niyo na mag-translate ng word phrases into algebraic expressions. So, let's have our activity. You will use your activity sheet too. So, you write algebraic expressions for these word phrases. Okay, number one, four more than S. Number two, the product of seven and C. Number three, nine less than X. Number four, a number divided by the sum of four and seven. Number five, twice the sum of a number plus four. Number six, the sum of three-fourths of a number and seven. Number seven, ten times a number increased by 150. Okay, so I will give you five minutes to answer this. Okay, so this time, let's check your work. Let me see if you've got correct answers for our activity. Okay, for number one, 4 more than S, that is 4 plus S. Number 2, the product of 7 and C, that is 7C. Number 3, 9 less than X, that is 9 minus X. Number 4, a number divided by the sum of 4 and 7. So that is X divided by 4 plus 7. Number 5, twice the sum of a number plus 4. So that is... 2 times x plus 4. Number 6, the sum of 3 fourths of a number and 7. That is 3 fourth x plus 7. Number 7, 10 times a number increased by 150. That is 10x plus 150. I hope you got it right. Okay, so uh, hopefully may natutunan kayo sa ating Pag-translate ng word phrases into algebraic expressions. Okay, so this time, nakarinig na ba kayo ng word na polynomial? Okay, ano kayang polynomial? A polynomial is an algebraic expression that represents a sum of one or more terms containing whole number exponents on the variables. Okay, so yung mga variables this time ay merong mga exponent. Okay, so alamin natin kung ano yung polynomial na ating narinig bago lang. No? Okay, so ito yung mga examples ng polynomial. So you have the number 5 is a polynomial. 2x is a polynomial x squared plus 3x minus 1. Okay, so that's a polynomial. And you have x minus y divided by 4 is a polynomial. You have also here negative 5 over 4x plus y. Then we have square root of 4, x squared plus 3x cubed y minus x squared y squared minus x y cubed plus y to the fourth. Okay, so this time, paano natin malaman na ang isang expression ay hindi polynomial? Okay, number one, its exponent is not a whole number or a variable. So, example, 3x raised to negative 2 plus 1. So, the exponent of x there is negative 2. So, dapat hindi negative 2 para maging polynomial. So, dahil negative 2 ang kanyang exponent, hindi siya polynomial. Next example, x squared y squared plus 3xy cubed plus y raised to the fourth third. So, hindi rin siya polynomial dahil yung y ay exponent niya ay fraction or hindi whole number. Then, another example, 5 raised to x. So, ang kanyang exponent ay variable. So, hindi siya polynomial. Okay, another. The variable is in the denominator. So, if the variable is in the denominator, it is not 
a polynomial. So example, 4 divided by x. Another, x divided by 2y. Another, x plus y divided by 3z. So lahat niyang tatlong example ay um, variable, may variable ang kanilang denominator. So hindi sila polynomial. Okay, next, number 3. The variable is under the radical sign. Okay, so kung makita ninyo, square root of 4x squared. So yung x squared ay nasa loob ng radical sign. Next, square root of x. So another, square root of a plus 3b. So yung tatlong examples na yan, ang variable ay nasa loob ng radical sign. Kaya hindi sila polynomial. Okay, so this time, we'll have our activity entitled, Am I a Polynomial or Not? Okay, so you will use your activity sheet number 3. Okay, for the direction, tell whether the given expression is a polynomial or not. Write P if it is a polynomial and NP if not. Okay, so... Here are the expressions. There are 10. So I will give you 10 minutes. Or rather, 5 minutes is enough. Okay, so you can start now. Okay, so since you're done, let's see if your answers are correct. Okay, for the number 1, so, it is a polynomial. So, 3x squared is a polynomial. Okay, number 2, x squared minus 5xy is a polynomial. Number 3, 11 is a polynomial. Number 4, 3x squared minus 5xy plus x cubed plus 5 is a polynomial. Okay, number 5, you have there x cubed minus 5x to the negative 2 plus 3. So, it is non-polynomial since the x there has an exponent of negative 2. Okay, so number 6, x raised to 1 half minus 3x plus 4 is not a polynomial because x there has an exponent of 1 half. Okay, number 7, square root of 4 times x to the 4th minus 4 or minus x to the 7th plus 3 is a polynomial. Okay, so there is a radical sign but then the variable is not inside it. Number 8, 3x squared times square root of 2x minus 1 is not a polynomial because 2x there is inside the radical. Okay, number 9, one third x minus 3x cubed over 4 plus 6 is a polynomial since denominator there are whole number without variable. And number 10, 3 over x squared minus x minus 1 is not a polynomial since the x squared there is denominator. Okay, so hopefully you've got the uh, correct with your answers. Okay, so hopefully that you have learned about polynomial and non-polynomial. Since you can tell now whether an expression is polynomial or not, let's proceed to the number of terms in a polynomial. I had mentioned a while ago that any Algebraic expression separated from another algebraic expression by a plus sign or a minus sign, it is called a term. Here are examples of algebraic expressions. Let's count how many terms each expression has. For letter A, we have here 3x squared minus 4x plus 1, so there are 3 terms. For letter B, we have 2x squared plus 1. There are two terms. For letter C, we have 2 times x plus 1 minus square root of 4x squared. There are two terms. And for the letter D, we have here x to the 4th minus x squared plus x cubed plus 11. 
there are four terms. Okay, so since we know already how to count the number of terms in each expression, so we will determine now what are the different kinds of polynomials according to number of terms. Okay, so we will call or a kind of polynomial with only one term is called monomial. Okay, example, negative 7x cubed, 53, 8x, or only x. Okay, so that is monomial. For a polynomial which has two terms, we call that as binomial. Okay, so example, 5x minus 7y is a binomial. Okay. For the polynomial with three terms, we call that as trinomial. So example, you have x squared minus 8x plus 12 is a trinomial. So a polynomial with four or more terms is what we call multinomial or simply polynomial. So example, x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4x plus 5. So, it is a multinomial four terms. Okay, so hopefully you have learned about our different kinds of polynomials according to number of terms. Okay, so we'll have again another activity. And this is, what am I? So, you have to use your activity sheet number four. So you have to tell whether its polynomial is a monomial, you write M, binomial, you write B, and trinomial, you write T, or multinomial, you write MT. Okay, so we have here four items for you to answer for five minutes. Okay, so this time we'll check our activity, what am I? Okay, so let's see if you've got correct answers. Okay, so for number one, 3x is monomial. Number two, 12x plus 3y minus 1 is trinomial. Number three, 5y minus 1 is binomial. Number four, 7x minus 11y is binomial. Number five, x times 6xy is monomial. Number 7, x minus y divided by 4 is binomial. Number 7, 12ab plus 4 is binomial. Number 8, 2 times x plus y plus z is trinomial. Number 9, 5 times y minus 3 is binomial. Number 10, 5m to the 6, 6m to the 5th, plus 5m to the 4th, minus 4m cubed, plus 3m squared, minus 3 is multinomial. Okay, so hopefully, nakakuha kayo ng mataas na score. Pag-usapan naman natin ngayon ang degree mayroon ang bawat term ng polynomial. Tinatawag ito na degree of a term. So the degree of a term is the exponent of its variable. For example, 3x to the 4th plus x squared minus 9x plus 7. 3x to the 4th has a degree of 4 because x there has an exponent of 4. Okay, x squared has a degree of 2. Okay, dahil ang x naman dyan ay may exponent na 2. Ang negative 9x has a degree of 1. Kasi na-mention natin kanina na ang variable na walang degree na nakasulat is considered na mayroong degree 1 ito. Okay, so ang 7 has a degree of 0. So, ibig sabihin na lahat ng constant ay wala siyang degree. Okay, so let's try this one. 
Okay, so gagamitin naman natin yung activity sheet 5. So, nandiyan yung polynomial. So, ilalagay ninyo yung first term. Ano yung degree ng first term, second term, ano naman ang degree nito. Okay, so meron tayong tatlong items dyan. I will give you uh, siguro enough na yung 3 minutes. Okay, you can start now. Okay, let's check your work. Okay, so we have here for the polynomial x squared minus 5xy. The first term is x squared. The degree of term is 2. And the second term is negative 5xy. The degree of term is 1. For the polynomial x cubed minus 3x minus 4, the first term is x cubed. Degree of term is 3. Second term is negative 3x. And the degree of term is 1. For the polynomial 2x to the 4th minus 2x cubed plus 3xy plus 4y, the first term is 2x to the 4th and the degree of term is 4. And the second term is negative 2x cubed and the degree of term is 3. Okay, so hopefully, okay, nakuha ninyo yung tamang answer. I think you're done. So let us see your answers if they are correct. Okay. Okay, so let's check your work. Okay, so we have here for the first item or first uh, expression, you have 5m to the 6th minus 6m to the 5th plus 5m to the 4th minus 4m cubed plus 3m squared minus 3. The degree of polynomial is 6 since 6 is the highest exponent. Okay, then for the second expression, we have 3x squared minus 5xy plus x cubed plus 5. So the highest is the uh, degree is 3. So that is the degree of polynomial of this expression. The third one, we have 2x squared minus 3xy plus 4y. The highest degree is 2. So that's why the degree of polynomial is 2. So 3x to the 4th minus 2y cubed plus 3. So the highest degree naman dito is, or the highest exponent rather is 4. So therefore the degree of polynomial is 4. And the last one we have x cubed minus 5x minus 2 plus 3. So we have here 3 is the highest exponent, so that's why the degree of polynomial is 3. Okay, so hopefully, tama lahat yung answers ninyo. Since alam nyo na yung degree of polynomial, okay, so let us now learn about the kinds of polynomial according to its degree. Okay, so we have here for the constant, we have a degree 0. Okay, so any number, so you have there the 1, 5, and any number. Then you have the linear. So the degree is 1. So you can see the different uh, examples there. Then we have quadratic. So the degree is 2. Okay, so we call also the polynomial with the th three de or degree of 3 as cubic. And we have quartic with the degree of 4 and the quintic for the degree of 5. Okay. So let's proceed now to evaluating algebraic expression. Okay, so to evaluate algebraic expression, substitute the value of a variable. So example, what is the value of x plus 8 if x is equal to 3? So you can see there x plus 8 so we will substitute the value of x, which is 3. So we have now 3 plus 8. So we have equals 11. So another example, what is the value of x squared minus 3 if x is equal to 2? So you have x squared minus 3 is equal to 2 squared since x is equal to 2. So we have to substitute the x. So it is now 2 squared minus 3. So 2 squared is equal to 4 minus 3. So we have 1. Okay. Another is 
Okay, we have x plus 2 divided by y minus 1. So if x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2, then we have x plus 2 divided by y minus 1 is equal to 1 plus 2 divided by 2 minus 1. So we have 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 divided by 1. So the answer is 3. Okay. Another is, what is the value of x cubed plus 2x plus 1 if x is equal to negative 1? So x cubed plus 2x plus 1 is equal to negative 1 cubed plus 2 times negative 1 plus 1. We, then we have negative 1 minus 2 plus 1. So we have negative 2 as the answer. Okay, so this time let's have our activity and you will use our sheet number 7. Okay, so we have to evaluate algebraic expressions below. Okay, so you can see there. So for number 1, what is the value of x plus 5 if x is equal to 10? Number 2, what is the value of 5 minus x if x is equal to 1? And number 3, find the value of 4x squared plus 3 if x is equal to 3. Number 4, find the value of x cubed minus 3x minus 4 if x is equal to negative 2. And number 5, evaluate 3x plus 2 divided by 5y minus 3 so if x is equal to 1 and y is equal to negative 1. Okay, so I will give you uh, 10 minutes for this. Okay, so let's check your answers. Okay, for the number 1. Okay, so you have there x plus 5 is equal to, okay, so set, since x is a value of 10, so you have now 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. Okay, for number 2, the value of x is 1. So you have 5 minus x is equal to 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Okay, for number 3, you have there for x squared plus 3, the value of x is 3. Then you have there 4 times 3 squared plus 3. So you've got now 4 times 9 plus 3. So we have 39. For the number 4, the value of x is negative 2. So we have now x cubed minus 3x minus 4 is equal to negative 2 cubed minus 3 times negative 2 is equal to 4. So we have now negative 8 plus 6 minus 4. The answer now is negative 6. For number 5, the value of x is 1 and the value of y is negative 1. So you have there 3x plus 2 y is equal to 3 times 1 plus 2 time, or divided by 5 times negative 1 minus 3. So you have now 3 plus 2. So uh, divided by negative 5 minus 3. So you have 5 over negative 8. Before we will end our lesson today, Let's take a look again with our objectives if we had attained them all. Okay, so you may answer me yes or no if you think that you attain or not our objectives. Okay, so we have here our objective number one. Did you illustrate and differentiate related terms in algebra? Yes or no? Number two, did you define polynomial? Yes or no? Number three, Classify polynomials according to the number of terms. Yes or no? Okay, number four, did you identify the degree of polynomial? Yes or no? And number five, did you evaluate algebraic expressions for the given values of the variable? Yes or no? Okay, so if your answers are yes, okay, so congratulations, you have done your job well. Congratulations everyone for being patient in viewing, listening, and participating in the different activities that we had in our lesson today. So hopefully, hindi kayo magsawang makinig, 
manood at matuto sa mga susunod pang mga le video lessons natin. And thank you very much for attending our Tuldok program. And thank you very much for your precious time you spent with me today. So again, this is Ma'am Teresa Diaz saying goodbye. See you in the next video lessons. Bye!